Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, the bonders to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to Yaakim, pushing his word in truth and sincerity in all charity, the hopeful elect. Today, I want to go into um, a topic on the Lord always uh, has always uh, delivered us from our captivities. You know, it, it, when you read the scriptures, you know, uh, uh, every time the Lord uh, had uh, put a nation over us, he always had us, uh, um, you know, be delivered afterwards. You know, and it's just uh, something that we should have meditate upon and hope for and have our hope on because it's, it's not going to be no different this time, man. The only thing is that this last captivity is going to be the greatest deliverance, all right, since uh, compared to it, uh, all the other ones, man. You know, because it tells you in, in, in Jeremiah 16 chapter, uh, matter of fact, I'll get it real quick just for the edification. Jeremiah 16, and I'm going to start at 15. You know, because we've been in cap we were in captivity under every nation under heaven, man. All right, and the Lord always uh 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 had us be uh, uh delivered, man. You know, because we went off, right, and we had to suffer the punishment uh, of of us of us going off, man. Of us serving these other gods, you know, there was consequences, but the Lord always had ri risen the prophets up. You know, to to declare truth, man, and that and that's ultimately what we're doing we're, when we're out there in the highways and the byways. Uh, we were declaring this truth. All right, we're being a watchman because the Lord's about to come and deliver us, man. But but in the fashion He's gonna come and deliver us, all right? He's gonna come and bring destruction, man. All right, because every nation that ever ruled this earth always fell with a uh, a. Uh, 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 through a calamity, man, you know, a, a kingdom, uh, a, a kingdom never offered their kingdom to another nation will, willfully, man. There's always war and bloodshed, and there's no different this coming around, man. Daniel's the twelve chapter tells you it's gonna be a day that no nation has seen. You see, so Esau Edom, who's ruling this last nation, he's about to try to defend his his kingdom, man. His rulership, but the hey, the Lord is gonna come and, and and take him off this rulership, and he's gonna do it in a way, all right, you know, of of destruction, man. All right, the Lord, the the day of the Lord is in his heart, man. You know, vengeance is is in in the Most High's heart, man. So he's about to come and manifest himself to the whole world, and he's gonna declare, all right, you know, his rulership, man. And that's what we're out there in the highways and byways, man. We're ushering in, ushering in the kingdom of heaven, man. But it's Jeremiah 16. I'm going to start at 14. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it should no more be said, Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. All right. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I have gave unto their fathers. Right, and it tells you in Ezekiel that once we return to our land, we're gonna have a, 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 a pure flesh heart, man. Where the where the law, such and commandments are gonna be written in our foreheads, man. So we're gonna be perfect in the sight of the Lord. We're not gonna go off, you know. We're gonna have dominion over all the nations. Right, that's why, you know, uh, uh right now we, we we serving our punishments but our hope is that the lord's going to uh, uh come and deliver deliver us uh, uh from our our captivity man you know but uh i want i'm going to read here in the book of baruch 4 because a hey, the lord always came and, and and got us off you know from the hands of these nations man you know so there's no different there's no diff. Uh, there's no. Uh, there's no difference. All right, this come. This coming around, man. The Lord has woken up His prophets. All right, and 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 and, and the elect is being woken, man. All right. Uh, I'm gonna start at Baruch four and twenty two. Says, for my hope is in the everlasting, that He will save you 
and joy is come unto unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. Right? So it, 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 the Lord's mercy is gonna come is gonna soon come unto us, man. And he's showing his mercy now, man, through this word, man. Us, you know, receiving that breath again, man, that life. Life entering into our hearts, man, and to our souls. That's mercy in itself, man. Because the Lord is giving us a down payment, all right, which is the earnest of the spirit. All right, towards the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, we, 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 uh, this down payment, we're going to invest it, all right, so that we could receive, all right, that, that reward at the end, man. So it says, verse 23, For I send you out with mourning and weeping. Does not the scriptures tell you to return unto the Lord in mourning and, and fasting and in weeping? You know, roughly paraphrasing. All right? Because uh, of our shame that, that we've committed, you know, of our... Uh, 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 that guilt of not worshiping Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. So, because hey, the Lord said He's near to them that are of a contrite heart, man. You you can't walk around prideful because the Lord has given us a a a, a, a chance to reconcile us, uh, you know, to Him, man. You know, so you gotta, you know, take that humbly, man, and and don't get besides yourself because of the wisdom that that we are learning. All right, to serve our power, man, because what is this knowledge profit up? So it is knowledge, it, 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 this knowledge that we're learning, all right, it's so uh, 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 we could uh, walk in the ways of the Heavenly Father, man, not not to boast in our wisdom, but it says, But Yahweh will give you to me, a, well, but Yahweh will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see surely your salvation. And from our power, we shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Verse 25, my children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. Why? Because we, we, we sinned against him, man. So we're going to bear that indignation, man. All right? So there's no reason for us to be boast and be proud, man. Because we're suffering now because of our, our iniquities that we committed. But hey, the afterwards, the Lord is going to come and, and forgive us for all those, you know, which he did through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man, through his blood, man. It says, for thy enemy hath persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction. Blesses, blesses the man who sees the fall of his enemy. We're, by, we're witnessing the fall of Esau Edom right before our eyes, man. You know, they we're at the last seconds, man. The Lord's plaguing Egypt as before, man. You got the coronavirus which is gonna cause a major impact, all right, in this economy. It's gonna it's gonna start uh 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 insurrections and it's gonna it's gonna cause the government to institute martial law, you know. So the prophecies may be fulfilled, man. You know, so it says we we should soon see, you know, a salvation, man, and it's near, all right. What it tells you in Romans, man, uh, 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 it's, it's a high time to wake God out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than we ever believed, man. You know, this is, again, continuing on, it says, But surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. My delicate, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. And who, and who are the delicate ones, man? All right, the Most High is chosen. You know, and Esau and the other nations have taken crafty counsel against against those delicate ones, man, against his hidden ones. All right, those that the Most High have uh, pure deign to be delivered out of this destruction, man. Because those men are going to uh, uh, appraise the Heavenly Father and His Son in true and sincerity, man. They're not going uh, uh, to trim their, trim their ways to seek love. They're, they're going to they're gonna be without fault, man, without, without blame, man, unblemished. That is why we're going through the straight gate. We'll be purified, man. Be acceptable, man. Being uh, purified in the, in the furnace of adversity. We're, me, we're being made perfect, man, through through this wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. And it tells you much wisdom brings much sorrow, man. So we're going to have to suffer, all right? So, so we could, uh, 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 you know, cleanse us from our from any leaven in us, you know? Cleanse us from any uh, anything that... Uh, 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 Hindering us from worshiping how about Shimi Al Shai, man? You know, because hey, the reason why the Lord's chastening us as as He is, is because He looks He looks at us as, as His sons, man. 
He's correcting us so we could walk the right way, man. But still I could continue on. Verse 27. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto you, How will for you shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you? So the Most High is remembering our, our, our iniquity, our, not our iniquity, but our, our, our sufferings, man. You know? He hears our cry, man. He hears our prayers, man. You know? It says, verse 28, For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Why? Because of the mercy, man. The mercy that the Heavenly Father uh, uh, you know, bestowed upon us. You know, and, and, and not only that, the scripture says that we're unprofitable servants, man. Why is that? Because we're doing the things that we're supposed to be doing already, man. We just fell away, man. And, and, and we're, we're returning back to the Heavenly Father. That's why we got to seek him 10 times more, man, because we got a lot of catching up to do. You see? Um, I'm going to get a scripture here in Job. I had it... Uh, it's Job, uh, I mean, not, Salak, not Job, Ezra. I know there's one in Job. You know, similar scripture. It's Ezra 9, verse 13. It says, And after all that is come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that our power hath punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has, and, and has given us such deliverance as this, man. You see, so right now, a hey, this indignation that we're bearing, all right, is less than what our iniquities deserve, man. And yet, the Most High is still gonna deliver us out of the hands of our enemies, man. You know, so that's what Scripture says, man. Lift up your feeble knees and weak hands, man, because the hey, the Lord has given us the spirit, His uh, a portion of His spirit, man, and we gotta use it so that so that uh, uh, uh may operate. In the spirit, man, you know, you, we use this so, 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 we you know, when we go through these, these uh, afflictions, you know, we got power in us, man, you know, so going back to this Baruch 4 and uh, 20, uh, what is that, uh, 29 says, for he that had brought these plagues upon you should bring you everlasting joy with, with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that have gave thee that name will comfort thee. All right? So, hey, the Lord's comfort us through his word. All right? And, and, and through these prophecies, man. We rejoice when we see all right, uh, uh, these these prophecies being fulfilled, man. All right? Because we know that soon all right, uh, uh, um, we're no longer, longer going to be under this condition, man. Verse 31, miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall, right? Because the Lord is about to turn these curses upon our enemies, man. Whatever you're going through right now and, and whatever our people have been going through for decades, uh, these other nations, you know, these heathens, Esau, Edom, are, are going to go through the same afflictions, man. But, but worse, man, without mercy. Verse 32, miserable are the cities which the children's, thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For, for she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad at thy fall. So shall she be grieved for her own desolation, man. So this place is about to fall, man. You know, so hey, hey, we could see it, man. You know, hey, we're in our watch, man. We're seeing vigilantly that this place is falling, man. So they, this, you know, just suffer patiently the wrath that, that has come upon us, man, for a season now, man. You know? You know, really, hey, the Lord always came to deliver his, his his elect, man. All right, how much more that this this coming around, man? He's gonna do with a mighty salvation, man. So, with that little win's video was edifying through spirit party. How about Shimi Al Shai? About Shim Kakutash. So next time, Shalom and Abba.